Hi lovelies and welcome to my quick and easy ombre holiday nail tutorial. This look is perfect for when you're in a rush and you want something festive and put together but you don't want to spend too much time on it. Also this looks great for when your nails aren't looking their best. If they're peeling or uneven, this nail design will hide it. It can also be customized for your holiday looks by simply changing out the nail colors to suit you. So let's get started. First let's get started with what you'll need. I started with a base coat to protect my natural nail and to prevent staining. This is simply one from Sally's Beauty Supply. Next you'll need your base color. I used Penny Talk from Essie which is a beautiful rose gold color. Next I have the accent color which is OPI's Vision of Love. It's a deep burgundy and I thought it would be a great color for this holiday season in combination with the rose gold. And to finish up our look we'll be using a top coat. The one that I prefer is Seshvit since it's super fast drying and you can find it pretty much anywhere. Creating an ombre can get pretty messy so I use a small brush and nail polish remover to clean up around the nails. I use cosmetic sponges to apply the nail polish but you'll notice one is larger than the other because I wet the sponge to prevent nail polish from soaking in too much. I also use a small pair of scissors to cut the sponges in half to make them last longer. So that way I don't go through so many of them. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get this nail design started. Let's go ahead and prep our nails. So I start with a base coat. This one is from Sally's Beauty Supply, but you can use any base coat that you have. I find that by using it, it really does help the nail polish adhere to my nails and it prevents them from chipping or flaking off too early. Now for the color. Again, I used Essie Penny Talk to apply as my base color. It's a beautiful rose gold and I bought it specifically for the holiday season. It looks like a newly minted penny. You can get it on the Essie website for $8.50. Now that you put down your base coat of Penny Talk, you can prep your ombre sponge. Apply one coat of Vision of Love polish in the middle of the sponge and place two small stripes of Penny Talk on either side. To apply the ombre, center the burgundy stripe with the middle of your nail bed and press down. Rock the sponge back and forth to make sure you are reaching either side of your nail. To blend the stripes, softly bounce the sponge up and down to soften the lines. Repeat this process for the rest of your nails. You may have to reload the sponge with each finger to make sure that you're getting a good amount of coverage. If you like the finish after the first coat, you can stop and apply your top coat. I personally opted for two coats so that the burgundy color stood out more. Now it's time to clean up the mess I made around my nails. I do this with a small, stiff brush and nail polish remover. I simply dip the brush into the nail polish remover and wipe away the excess polish. You can prevent this mess from the beginning by applying tape around your nails to protect your skin, but I find it faster and less wasteful just by cleaning up around my nails when I'm done sponging. The last step is applying the fast drying top coat. In this case, I'm using Sush Vite. This will lock in your design and help to prevent chipping, peeling, and help your manicure last longer. I hope you liked my quick and easy holiday ombre nails. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you recreate this look, please send me a pic on Instagram at MakeupMyWorld. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite holiday nail color is. Don't forget to be kind to one another and always embrace your imperfections. Thanks for watching! Please click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world. And don't forget to visit my website, MakeupMyWorld.com, for more details on me and the products used here. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My details are below. Take care, and I'll see you next time.